another problem on number generation. So now we shall find out the Krishnamurti numbers. So what is the logic of that? So here is the problem for us. Find out all Krishnamurti numbers ranging from 1 to 1000. So if we execute my code, then 1 to 145 are the three numbers within 1 to 1000 which are known as the Krishnamurti numbers. Now the question is coming in mind, what is the Krishnamurti number? What is the basic logic behind that? So let us consider this 145. If you take the factorial of 1, factorial of 4 and factorial of 5 and if you go on adding, you are getting 145 and that is the basic logic finding one Krishnamurti number. So I have given you one example, I have given you that what output we are expecting from you. So try to write the code respectively and please use the logic whatever we have used in the earlier videos to solve this respective problem. Otherwise, the practical demonstration, implementation of this problem is with you right now. Here the problem is find out all Krishnamurti numbers from 1 to 1000. The question is coming in mind what is a Krishnamurti number? It is a number which is equal to the sum of the factorials of all its digits. So you should have to calculate the sum of factorials of all its digits of a number. That means if the sum is same, that means the number is Krishnamurti number. Okay. Now, as an example, we can consider 145. So here we are having this 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial which is nothing but 1 plus 24 plus 120, I am getting this one as 145. So we are supposed to calculate the Krishnamurti numbers between 1 to 1000 available. So how to do this one? So here we have defined some set of variables and here we are executing, we are executing one loop, for loop from 1 to 1000 because that was told. So now sum is equal to 0, num is equal to n until the num is getting exhausted what i shall do i shall pick up the last digit of the number using mod 10 logic and then i shall calculate the factorial of the digit so how to calculate the factorial of the digit that is fact is equal to 1 for i is equal to 0 i less than equal to d i plus plus fact is equal to factor i so in this way i am just calculating the factorial of that digit d so after getting the factorial, it, is, it should be added up, added up with the respective sum because I require the fact, sum of the factorials. So that's why I'm doing sum is equal to sum plus fact. And from the number, the last digit is getting discarded by writing num is equal to num by 10. So next time on the reduced num, again I shall calculate the last digit available. Then using fact, we can continue with the process and the sum is equal to sum plus fact and num is equal to num by 10. In this way, the program will get on continuing. So here you see, after this while body, the num has got exhausted to zero because when the num will be equal to zero, then only from the while body, the control will come out. But I left the value of n in num. So n is not getting hampered. n is holding its initial value. So as a result of that, if n is equal to sum, I can print that percentage d is a Krishnamurti number where percentage d is nothing but n and in this way I shall continue it for i is equal to for n is equal to 1 to n less than equal to 1000. So in this way the program can easily be written. So 145 is one of the numbers so that we got and let me check what are the, what are the other numbers are there and what are the possible numbers within this range 1 to 1000. So I am executing the code. I need not to give any input because it will not ask for any input to be given. So it is 1, 2 and 145 are the Krishnamurti numbers within the range 1 to 1000. So in this way, the program is getting executed. Now see, here this, to calculate the fact, here you see, I am executing the loop from 1 to D. I can decrease the number of iterations here. How? I need not to do this multiplication by 1. I should go from 2 onwards because fact into 1 will carry no sense. So I shall be writing here fact is equal to fact into 2 because 1 multiplication will leave the fact with the old value. 
and another thing I can do I can go up to d minus 1 I can go up to d minus 1 and put in the value d in the fact as initialization so if I put the value d within the fact initially and if I continue my loop from i is equal to 2 from 2 to d minus 1 I can get my factorials ready for that so let me write the code accordingly and let me execute the code you see I'm going to get the same output but here the iteration number of iterations have got reduced by 2 because I'm not multiplying fact by 1 and also I'm not multiplying fact by d because d is getting initialized d is initializing fact before entering into this loop so in this way the program is giving us the correct result so if you are having any kind of issues if you have some alternative methods to calculate the same please share with us and leave your comments below thanks for watching